everybody, JC here from Toy News International. And today I'm doing my third Joker figure review of the week with the DC Comics Multiverse Suicide Squad Joker figure with the purple coat and the Arkham Asylum pants. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've been seeing with all the multiverse. You've got the red box with the red highlights. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, we know. And then on the back, we got a look of all the other figures in the wave. And the Croc Collecting Connect figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. <laughs> All right, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging. Now, first of all, we get the right leg for Croc. Now, this is the final figure in the Suicide Squad Croc Collecting Connect wave, so we'll be able to put this together now, and I'll be doing a review of the Croc figure probably tomorrow, so be sure to check back for that. Now, besides the Croc we, figure piece, we also get this walking stick, and I'm actually glad we're finally getting this because he uses this a lot in the movie, and it's done with just a purple color with a uh, dark... Uh, uh, bronze color. I think this was more gold metallic in the actual movie, so the paint applications on this aren't the greatest, but still, I'm glad we're actually getting the walking stick since, again, he uses it quite a bit in the movie. So the figure itself, this is actually just mostly a reuse of that San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version. The face sculpt seems to be pretty much the same. The paint applications are a little bit different, and I've got some pretty sloppy paint on, mine, on my figure here. You can see the green from his hair is kind of uh, washed over onto the white of his face and you can see a green nick here on his ear so a little bit of sloppiness more so than I've seen with the other figures in this wave. He's got some wash in his hair and we've seen that with the other figures and it's kind of sporadic dark colors throughout and then he's got the red lipstick and he's got the silver teeth for the bridge not braces like you all wanted to point out in one of the other reviews <gasps> braces oh my god I said braces anyway seriously though he's got this bridge so he's got the silver metallic and then he's got the dark around the eyes and he's got the tattoos and he's got a little star on his forehead and he's got this I guess this is a, a teardrop or something underneath the other eye so I like the detailing with the tattoos like with the other figures also on his chest and you can see it really good on this figure the coat is a separate piece this would have been almost a perfect figure if they had just made this coat removable the sleeves unfortunately are sculpted so you can't actually take it off but it would have been nice if you could take it off maybe if they'd given us a, a straight jacket as a second accessory that would have Really, you know made this figure probably one of the best in this wave if they had done that as it is though like I said you've got that vinyl material it's not quite as shiny as or actually it's a little bit more shiny than the San Diego Comic Con exclusive version it's the same coat it's just the purple is a little more shiny on on this version and you've got the buttons even though no paint detail there you know no buttons on the back here you got the pockets but not a lot of paint detail he's got the little mouth tattoo on the one hand like we've seen with the other figures of course, the articulation doesn't really allow him to get it that close up to his mouth. You can kind of do it like you see him do in the movie. But uh, again, articulation is one of the things that the salon suffers from, lack of it, I would say. And then he's got the Arkham pants. He's got the Arkham riding down the one leg. And then he's not wearing any and shoes. You can hold the walking stick in either hand. He holds it pretty tight, though, because he doesn't have any wrist articulation other than he has swivel, but it doesn't have any hinges. So it's kind of hard to get him in an actual walking pose. Uh, you can kind of make it work. But again, it's a little difficult because of the articulation. This figure stands at just about six and a quarter inches exactly. And here's a comparison of all three Suicide Squad movie Joker figures from Mattel. I think if I had to pick one between the three, I would go with the silver coat version being my favorite. Though, again, I do like the walking stick that we got with, with this particular one. Articulation, well, you know, it's not the greatest. You can turn the head to the left and to the right, and he really has no back or forth movement. You can get the arm out good. He's got good rotation there. He does have a bicep swivel, has just that single hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow about that much. He does have the rotation there at the elbow and the rotation at the wrist but no hinges on the hands he has an ab crunch joint so he can crunch down a little bit these ab crunch joints just don't do much so he can crunch down a little bit and he can look back a little bit but the joke the jacket limits that to a good extent and then he does have a waist swivel 
and then he's got the side hinge joints for the leg so he can do the splits he can get his leg forward about that much and can't really do his leg back very much he can do his leg well, I guess he can do his leg back out and back like that and then he's got a thigh swivel only has a single hinge knee so he can bend his knee about that much. And then for the feet, he's got the hinges, but because the pants come down over his feet, he really doesn't have even back and forth movement that much, a little bit, and no rotation and no ankle pivot. And two peg holes on the bottom of the feet for this one. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, you know, what can I say? <laughs> This figure is probably my least favorite of the three Joker figures that Mattel has released. I just don't really like the sloppy paint on the face sculpt, and it's just not different enough from the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version. What are you looking at? But, you know, like I said, you probably do still need to pick it up so you can get the Croc Collect and Connect figure so you can complete that. And I do like the walking stick, even though the paint applications could definitely be better on that. As I said before, if the coat could be removable, then that would have made this figure a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, this figure is available now. You can pick it up at Amazon.com, and we'll have a full gallery of images up at ToyNewsEye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. <laughs> Like the video if you're so inclined. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Oh, and be sure to follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. You know where the link is. Peace out. <laughs>